So you think that dollar per mile metric is a good way to evaluate your business? You're dead wrong. Let's take a look at it. Keith's an amazing guy. Keith's an amazing guy. Keith's an amazing guy. What is up? It is Red. The Ride Cherry Ginger coming right back at you. Gonna have some legit content for you tonight, right now. And we're going to talk about why dollar per mile is a bad metric to evaluate your business on. And I'm talking that revenue per dollar amount that a lot of people are starting to look at and thinking are a good thing. It's not bad, but it's not a good metric to look at. One caveat to that is you should know your expenses per mile. That is something you should absolutely know 100% up and down. Know what your expenses per mile. Expenses per mile per mile for me to run this thing is 23 cents per mile. That factors in a lot. And let's quickly do a brief overview as to why dollar per mile is a silly metric. And then I'll show you some proof as to why it's a silly metric. We'll talk a little bit more about it and then we'll move on from there. And I'll tell you how to use the correct metrics and how to go about it. So two things tend to lead and drive dollar per mile up. It's one, driving in traffic. So if you're doing the exact same amount of miles, but one takes you 20 minutes and the other takes you 40 minutes, you just earn an extra 20 minutes of that roughly 20 cents per mile. So you now earn more than the other driver. So now your dollar per mile goes up. The other thing is surge. Surge is the other one that drives dollar per mile up. So sitting in traffic is not a good thing. And then surge rides... Let's let's not talk about chasing surge and things like that. It's just you can be in surge whether you're talking about miles or not. So it's it's not really a miles argument with surge, but the sitting in traffic is. But either way, let let's take a look. Let's let's show some proof of some rides here. We got four rides. Two are good dollar per mile rides, and two are bad dollar per mile rides. And two of them are roughly the same amount of time and the other two are roughly the same amount of time. So they're good comparisons to each other. So let's go over and let's take a look at the first one right now. So the first one is $21 and 41 cents, 28 minutes and 21 miles. And this is by the way, a bad per mile trip. And it worked out to revenue side, $45 per hour and $1 per mile. The cost so we're going to evaluate everything on a cost basis of 17 cents per mile because if you're driving a good quality economy rideshare vehicle, it is going to be about 17 cents per mile is what it's going to cost you. So the cost is $3.57 at 17 cents per mile, profit of $17.83, revenue of, or sorry, profit of $38 per hour. Now let's flip over. Let's take a look at the really good per mile trip, which is... $13.46, 35 minutes, and 6.62 miles, which looks out revenue side, $23 per hour, and $2 per mile, $2 per mile on this trip. So killer per mile trip. And let's take out the cost of 70 cents per mile, so $1.13. Profit is now $12.33 and $21.13 per hour. So let's think about that. You're talking $38 per hour versus $21.13 per hour Profit, not revenue, profit. Fine, that's one set of trips. Let's look at another set of trips. So again, first we're going to look at the good or the bad per mile trip. So $32.74, 46 minutes and 34 miles. That works out to $41.74 per hour on the revenue side and 94 cents per mile. So less than a dollar per mile. Cost of 17 cents per mile works out to $5.78. Profit $26.96. So $35 per hour on that trip. Now let's go to another good per mile trip. This one is $21.12, 44 minutes, 17.38 miles. So roughly $28 per hour on the revenue side, $1.23 per mile. Cost of two dollars or expenses, I guess, is the better way to phrase that. Of two dollars and ninety-five cents, profit is eighteen seventeen and twenty-four dollars an hour. So we're talking thirty-five dollars an hour versus twenty-four dollars per hour. I don't know about you, but looking at both these trips, I want more per hour on the profit side, regardless of the miles, and you see that discrepancy. But you're like, Red, my expenses 
are, are 70 cents per mile, but I got deadheaded miles. And that, that's the argument is you shouldn't be deadheading places. But I think deadheading to set yourself up for a good trip makes sense or deadheading to get to surge sometimes makes sense. But let's say you just deadhead to deadhead because you're a fool for some reason and there's no reason to deadhead. You're just driving around because you feel like driving around. So let's add 10 miles to each to the to the bad mile trips. I'm going to add 10 additional deadhead miles to that. And then let's take a look at the numbers. So popping that back up. Adding an additional dollar and seventy cents in expenses, that brings that first trip to sixteen thirteen on the profit side, still thirty four dollars per hour. And remember, by comparison, the similar trip was twenty one thirteen per hour. So let's again, let's go to the other trip, adding another ten miles to it. That one works out to twenty five twenty six on the profit side with the additional dollar seventy, and still thirty two dollars per hour in comparison to $24 per hour. So I think that kind of eliminates your deadhead argument there too. That like, so you deadheaded to get there. You still ended up with a good per mile basis. But one more caveat, you're like, red, my expenses aren't 17 cents per mile. They're astronomical. They're 25 cents per mile. Fine, let's look at 25 cents per mile. So at 25 cents per mile, that first bad mile trip, you now have a expense of 775, profit of 1366, you are still $30 per hour in comparison to the similar trip, which is 2113 per hour. And that is still on the good, like I looked at it the other way, still on the other one, like of $21 per hour, that's still 17 cents cost, but whatever. And keep in mind when I'm looking at this 25 cents per mile cost, I'm still adding in the additional 10 dead miles with it. So then the second trip, the 46 minute trip, you now have $11 in expenses. So climbed a little bit and it's $21 per $21.74 in profit, $28 per hour. By comparison with the similar trip, it is $21.13 per hour. Let me just go back. The similar trip to that, sorry, it was actually $24 per hour. $24 per hour. So the 44-minute trip, $21, $24 per hour compared to $20 per hour. So even with higher expenses, an additional 10 miles of dead miles, you are still out earning by $4 per hour. This is why I'm telling you that it's a bad metric to use, but here's where your expense per mile matters. So before I deadhead anywhere, I think, okay, it's 10 miles to get to that surge, which I'm not normally chasing 10 miles, but let's say it's 10 miles to get surge to use basic numbers. That's going to cost me $2.30. So is the surge at least $5 or above at a minimum that $2.30? If it is, it's worth the chase. Or I ended up downtown and I don't think there's any trips downtown and I want to get an airport trip. So it's 15 miles back. So it's now going to cost me 230 times 15, which is rough math on the top of my head. I'm going to be like, okay, that's almost $4. Do I think I'm going to earn an additional $4 by going to the airport? And a lot of times the answer is yes. So again, you're going to be at a bad per mile rate but your dollars per hour are going to continue to go up. And I don't know about you, dollars per hour is most important to me. Profit per hour is most important to me. I don't care how, I don't, I don't care my dollar per mile because like I just showed you, it's a bad metric. I'd much rather have the rides where I'm earning more in shorter amount of times. So I, I like to keep these videos as short as possible. If you're new to the channel, I'll try to stay under 10 minutes and we're approaching that number now. So I could go in greater depth if people want to hear more on this. I'll probably have some rebuttals in the comments, but I want to cut this video out here so that we can just end this before we get to 10 minutes because I like to get content out there as quick as possible. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the views. I appreciate it every time. Thanks, guys.